Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is Act 6.2, and we're going to go into quest number two, second quest of this chapter. So initially here, you're going to see me scouting out the path. I recommend you do that. However, I'm scouting it out to see which path I feel is going to be the easiest path to do my initial clear. Now, several factors may play into which path is actually the easiest for you. Who you're choosing to go in here with and your own skill level at dealing with the particular nodes. All right, so I'm going in here with Ghost. So I'm looking at these nodes and I'm like, okay, Ghost should be able to handle these fairly decently. Okay, you see I saw a Spry there. So a bubble shield there. And so I'm like, okay, I don't see anything that's going to give too much difficulty uh, to Ghost. Now, here's the other thing that I look for. I also look for that one-star chest. I've said this in other videos. When you see a one-star chest on a path, that's a good indication of the difficulty level of that path. It's not always the case that it's the easiest because of the factors that I mentioned. But a lot of times, it's going to be of the least difficult. All right, so here we go. We decided to go ahead and go down this path here. Uh, Punisher 2099, not too much of a problem here. Uh, now, here's the global backblast. The attacker's critical damage is doubled. However, if damage from a critical exceeds 5% of the defender's max health, or the attacker lands four or more guaranteed crits throughout the fight, the attacker suffers from an incinerate debuff dealing damage about equal to their last critical. So that seems like it would be a bad idea for Ghost. However, watch this. Okay, now what I did there, I'm still getting used to this global. But you don't want to do multiple hits with Ghost. Okay, you see that uh, debuff, that incinerate, and it's doing damage. Just look at that. Okay, that's a lot of damage that I did not need to take with Ghost. Uh, if you're using Ghost, use the phase one hit combo. That's all you need to do. Uh, when Ghost phases, it's going to remove those incinerate debuffs. Hopefully you only have one on you. And it's going to convert it into a Fury. All right. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, you know, I think I got it. All right, so this is aggression regeneration. Ghost is good for this, but so is Void and Captain America Infinity War. All right, so now you see I'm changing my style. See how I'm phasing one time and dashing back, and I'm not taking that damage, okay? That is how you wanna do it. Now see there, I got a little too happy, but if I just do the one hit, I'm okay. But see, every time I did more than one hit, that's what happened. I just had to get used to doing the phase one hit because a lot of times I'll get sort of uh, greedy, too aggressive, and I'll be like, okay, you know what? I can hit him one, two times, and then I get two furies instead of just the one. Problem with that is that you're taking a lot of damage very quickly as well. Okay? All right, now, uh, let's talk about my team makeup here. Uh, you'll notice that I went in with the Ghost Trinity. That's Ghost, that's Wasp, and that's Hood. I try to use those three all the time. And then I went in with Hyperion and Medusa. The reason is, this chapter is the chapter with the Sinister Boss. This is the chapter, when I saw this encounter, I said, you know what? 6.2 doesn't exist. I refuse to acknowledge 6.2's existence. I did 6.1, 100%, no problem. But 6.2, I did not touch. Variant 3 dropped. I did Variant 3, 100%. Still didn't touch 6.2. Finally, I said, okay, it looks like I'm not gonna get Heimdall, so let's just do it. The reason that I was waiting for Heimdall is that 
to deal with Sinister, there are a lot of champions that could do it, but you need a Fury, okay? You can't do damage unless you have a Fury buff. So if you go in there with a champion that normally can take on Sinister, you know, um, you know, block his healing and all that good stuff. If you don't have a Fury, it's not going to work. It is a very poorly defi uh, def um, designed fight. Uh, if you have Heimdall, there's a bunch of options. If you don't have Heimdall, then Hyperion and Medusa are going to be your best bet. And you'll see when we get there who did the better job. Uh, against this sinister now if you have Heimdall you would have to go in here with Heimdall and Angela and uh, maybe Hela I forget which one of those you needed but those three you can dash back and you'll gain a fury now you can do damage with any champion okay it, it, I don't know what they were thinking but I was not happy I was I heard about the gates Okay, this path, as you've seen, is not a gated path. So you can do your initial clear without dealing with these gates at all. But I was not about to do this until I could get a Heimdall. But then I saw some uh, videos and I said, you know what? Uh, it may not be that bad. Chances are I'm going to do this initial clear and not go back in here unless something changes. You know, I might work on the gated paths later on, but I'm thinking I won't go back in here until I actually do have Heimdall as a five or a six star. Because uh, also, even if you had a three or a four star Heimdall, you can't use him because in act six, they've restricted you to using only five star champions and above. So not only do you need, well, not need, I should say, but not only would a Heimdall save you resources, but you have to have him, you have to get lucky and get him out of a five or a six star crystal. Yeah, not a fan of this at all, but good news, they are changing. So 6.3 and above are not going to have those gates no gated paths the community has spoken they see that this is not popular of course you have people that are going to clear it anyway um if you have a heimdall then you're going to have an easier time however you still have to deal with those gated uh paths and you need to have a pretty robust roster and get fortunate in the makeup of your champions just not a fun time. And a lot of people were like, you know, never mind. Let me get the initial clear and I'm done with this. So you're not gonna have to deal with the gated paths and chances are I will do 6.3 100% before I go back to 6.2. Now, I don't know what 6.3 is gonna look like. So I can't say that for sure, all right? So, they may have something else in there that makes me not want to deal with it. You know, like these nodes, these, this, this node for Sinister, that wasn't anything gated. But it was designed pretty badly, in my opinion. All right. So we're moving along, chugging along on this path. Uh, we just uh, finished off Emma Frost. Kind of messed up. Lost Ghost, Lost Wasp, but that's okay because now we're on the boss. And the only two that I plan on using against this Sinister is Medusa and Hyperion. Okay, so you can see here what you have to deal with. Just like I told you, uh, if you don't have a, pa um, a Fury, you're not going to be able to do any damage. That's that Caustic Temper. You have to deal with Genetic Perfection, where he's going to start with three buffs, and the EMP modification that you had to deal with uh, if you've done it. Uh, I believe the uh, 
Act uh, 5.4 boss, or it might be the Ultron invariant. I'm not sure. All right, so I'm showing you guys my overflow. When I went in here, I'm like, you know what? Even if it takes me 10 revives, 15 revives, I've got them. All right? That's what they're for. This is the only time I'm going to be doing this without a Heimdall. So I don't mind using some of those revives. Otherwise, they're just going to expire. Okay? So I'm expecting to have to use some revives on this guy. All right? So first in, we're going to go in with Medusa. Now, Medusa is a good choice because she gains Fury. There you go. She got that one Fury. Now, I can go ahead and do some damage. All right? But it's been a while since I've fought any Sinister. So I'm just going in. He's got that regen. Okay. But I'm doing damage at least. All right? Now we need to bait out that special two. And I didn't evade it very well. That EMP modification, look at the shock damage. Okay, that's why I fired off my special two. I was just trying to do as much damage as possible before I went down. Because I knew I was going down at this point. Okay, and there we go. He's gonna fire off his special three any moment now. So I'm just trying to go in, trying to do as much as I can. And then finally he said, enough. Time for a special three. And then I did this. Don't do this. Because there is a bug, as you can see, that when you do that, it goes into an infinite loop. It will never come out of this. Okay? So I had to force quit and go back in. All right? It does that when I'm actually streaming it live, um, or, or I should say mirroring it to my computer. And uh, I always have to run the game twice. First time I run it, it'll crash immediately. And then I have to run it again. Don't ask me why. Okay? So, yeah, don't do that. I didn't want to just sit here looking at the special three. But I ended up wasting that time anyway. May as well have watched the special three. Okay, so now I'm going in here with Hyperion. My plan was to spam a lot of the special ones. Okay, I have Despair Mastery maxed out. So the more incinerates that I can put on Sinister, the less he's going to heal. All right, so we fired off a special two. He got stunned, which was great. All right, and then here, I fire off that special one. All right, got some nice uh, incinerates. All right, did not do a great job on that one. Took too much damage. All right, and you can see he did a decent job initially he should have done better but that was my fault this was the first time i went up against sinister with hyperion and so i said you know what i've got a different plan in mind but i still need to kind of get used to it i had to heal up because i want to last as long as possible to do as much damage as i can uh but here we go he loves doing that heavy right in the beginning so be careful about that all right, so we parry, um, get that heavy so that we can get our fury so we can actually do some damage. Here we go. Firing off that special two, got the stun. More, more furies, loving the furies. Get some more incinerates on him. And just look at that, okay? And again, I messed up on his special two. Just not used to it. Uh, since this video, I have practiced more with him and I can evade that now pretty well. You just need to delay your evade a little bit. That's all. Um, very similar to Iceman, very similar to uh, Iron Patriot, you know. So anyway, we haven't used that many revives. And he is less than half health right now. And I liked how much damage I was doing on the special two. Now there, I didn't get any incinerates. I was like, really? And remember, I am firing, I mean, I'm using um, suicides. So down I went again. So after this one, I said, okay, firing off my special one, especially since I'm running suicides, 
doesn't seem to be giving me the damage that I really want. And he's firing off that special one and it hurts. Okay. So I'm like, all right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to try and brute force it again with the heavy right off the bat. Okay. We need to get those furies so we can do damage. All right. So now I believe it was this fight. I changed up my tactics a little bit. Okay. There we go. More parrying. And then you see here. Yeah. I'm starting to cycle my special twos. There's another stun. Okay. And look at the damage that I'm doing here. And I didn't have quite enough to get to that special two. And then I tried to do that one because I thought he was going to fire his special three off. And I'm like, what are you waiting for? He's still not throwing his special three. So I'm like, okay, you know, we'll keep going. I'll take that. Just look at this. I'm like, all right, I got him. And then he said, no. <laughs> Denied at 3% health. But I was very happy with that. Given the other attempts where you know i didn't do a whole lot of damage just look at that i got lucky with those stuns and so i'm like okay that is what i should have been doing you know instead of firing off that special one now firing the special one off does work but keep in mind when i'm running suicides i'm taking a lot of recoil damage that's one of the reasons that i haven't ranked up my hyperion because i run suicides all the time all right so for me, the best uh, tactic was to parry, heavy, get the Furies, fire off that special two, hope for a stun, and then just keep on wrecking him, like you saw. That was by far my best attempt. All right, so down he goes. Not that many revives. Was not as bad as I was afraid it was going to be. All right, so that's gonna do it, guys. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.